for the financial industry, data flows can provide strong momentum. Our intelligent data infrastructure adopts a converged architecture and can help you control risks in real time and target your marketing efforts with enhanced agility, efficiency, and intelligence. Sounding the opening chords of the next movement of the Industrial Revolution, the era of smart manufacturing. Our intelligent data infrastructure helps you keep pace with the market changes and revolutionize your industry. From the heart of the city to the ends of the earth, let's connect everyone and everything. With intelligent data infrastructure, we are here to help you build a fully connected world. Huawei Intelligent Data Infrastructure, born for an intelligent, fully connected world, now coming to you. The era of connectivity is fast approaching. With more than 10 billion terminals in production and domestic scenarios connected through Wi-Fi, ultra high bandwidth, ultra low latency. Intelligence. With it, we can infinitely explore uncharted boundaries. For when technology empowers education and our intellects are interconnected, the race to accelerate the digital journey of education will kick off. With one entrance, we are entering a new realm of possibilities where intelligence sparks wisdom. Classrooms transcend geographical boundaries and streamlined communication put the best resources within reach. Through collaborative creation, hidden gems are uncovered. As every detail is perceived, each child is understood. Breaking through space and time, our minds can journey to a world of wonder. And we stay curious as we navigate the road to the future embracing a brighter and better world. That's not all. For educators, intelligence improves the quality and efficiency of communication. Wisdom flows to every corner of the world, and all children can equally reap the green benefits of smart education. Campuses feature ubiquitous intelligence, while students and teachers access networks anytime and anywhere Self-service O&M powered by AI relieves the burden on IT personnel. And the cloud breaks the space limits to create an ultra-broadband, flexible, and green intelligence network. From learning to living and teaching to management, ubiquitous connectivity, convenient resource sharing, and refined management make campuses smarter, safer, and closer. Huawei Intelligent Education Solution is committed to cultivating innovative talent in education through connectivity, AI, cloud computing, and other technologies, and narrowing the digital divide to promote the balanced development of basic education. This empowers the intelligent and digital transformation of education as a whole, unleashing the full potential of intelligence. Huawei. Accelerate the digital journey of education. Welcome at day two of the Huawei Global Intelligent Education Summit 2021, where we will accelerate the digital journey of education, new value together. Yesterday on day one, we had several keynotes on accelerating the digital journey of education and how to create new value together. We've also announced a joint research on the white paper on smart education in China and Central and Eastern European countries. Today, this second day of this Huawei Global Education Summit, we will introduce specific 
technology and innovative solutions and products and portfolio regarding that journey. As our first speaker, please welcome Mr. Simon Dye, who is Solution Director of Intelligent Vision and Collaboration in the CDO office of the Enterprise Business Group in Huawei, who will talk about bringing digital to every classroom for flexible teaching and high quality learning. Mr. Simon Dai. Good morning, good afternoon, welcome. I'm Simon Dai from Huawei Enterprise Business Group. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of our customer, partners, media friends, and the industry colleagues for joining us today. It is my pleasure to introduce Huawei's Smart Classroom solution. In particular, I will introduce this solution from perspective of the current situation of education. It's a role in regular and hybrid teachings and how it facilitates group discussion. When creating solutions tailored to the education field, we discussed the main problems of conventional teachings that teachers and the schools most frequently encountered. Those problems mainly cover prolonged teachings and the course preparations, minimal students-teachers interactions, boring learning content, and the inadequate evaluation of teaching method. We believe that the future teaching should be built on six characters. Ubiquitous learnings, interactive learning, heuristic teachings, personalized teachings, online learning, and group learning. How can we implement smart teachings and learnings? Our digital classroom solution provides interactive courseware editing tool to streamline the creation of the new content. Teachers can now collaborate with each other to prepare a course and share resources on the cloud, and importantly, material with just one click. This also facilitating online preview of lessons and the self-testing question for students before class. The ideal hub board is a indispensable teaching tool for local regular teaching. We partner with SBS software to provide powerful writing capability and supports multiple types of pens, colors, and even simultaneous writing by two or three persons. It can intelligently identify the text and the images, including the shape correction, and supports 34 languages. The whiteboard provides a wide range of teaching tools, such as text splitting, voice recognition, voice recording, and graphic searching engines, makes perfect for any learning environment. Besides electronic whiteboard, during class, a range of the tools can be used to implement interactive teachings simulating the student's interest and uh, enlivening the class atmosphere. Together, the solution facilitating courseware demonstration, in-class testing, voting, and the class observation. Analysis on classroom, the data offers comprehensive and in deep evaluation of students' learning situation help quantify the classroom performance and refine teaching's efficiency. In those examples, show the class performance reports with interaction analysis between the teachers and the students. The way-based assessment policy to quantify students' performance and the hierarchical administration capability of the reporting tool. The Smart Classroom solution is perfect to run on the Huawei Cloud, but can also be deployed on third-party public clouds. 
The platform allows users to access class through the various types of the endpoints for the remote teaching, sharing, and scheduling, as well as a whiteboarding, bidirectional, and audiovision collaborations. This breaks the barrier of the space, allow the people to connect anytime, anywhere, and from any device. For immersive distance learning teaching environment for teachers and the students. The collaborative teachings and learnings is a major trend in today's education space. The lower part pictures is a typical setting of the collaborative classroom settings. We support the do-screen interactive teaching, specifically do TPPTs on the same screen, uh, do PPT link each other's, and the PPT plus whiteboarding scenario. The group interactive teaching, multi-screen interactive teachings and group discussing. The group screen and an endpoint device can be projected to the large screen for presentation and discussing. The split screen comparison is also supported. The system is also integrated with in-class testing, voting, and a class observation tool to effectively facilitate collaborative teachings and learning. This is a summary overview of the Huawei Smart Classroom Solutions, with Huawei Ideal Board Agile as the, the core. The solutions combines device with teaching applications and the platform, offering smart streamlined library of the teaching practice and the functions. The solution can facilitate regular class, group discussing, and the remote teaching. Because of the problems associated with conventional teaching environment, such as harm from the chalk dust and the poor quality of the remote teaching, our solution proposes a safe teaching environment built on the key points Boardless teachings simplifies effective applications and the diverse the content. At Huawei, our vision is to bring the digital to every enterprise, home and the individual. And with the smart classroom solution, this extends to the bring digital to every classroom for flexible teaching and the high quality learning. Ideal Hub Board Azure is an education template that integrates a soft line eye comfort, smart whiteboarding, and a multimedia linking for the inclusive teaching. It is a perfect choice for school looking to promote group discussing, remote interactions, teaching, and publicity. A major issue for teachers is repeated, time-consuming writing on the blackboard. That is why we introduced the electronic blackboard, which is retain the teacher's handwritten notes in electronic form for easy reuse and after-class review. This is not only reduce the teacher's workload, but also free the students from taking notes in class allowing students to focus on the content. For example, the original handwritings on the blackboard can be recorded and displayed on the large screen in electronic text format automatically. One can scan the QR code to quickly take away the handwritten notes during or after class. So let's watch a short video of the Huawei Smart Classroom Solutions. Built based on the Huawei Idea Hub product series, the Huawei Hybrid Learning Classroom solution breathes life into education. Simple and efficient. Convenient teaching applications, integration with third-party applications, 
and comprehensive dynamic course data analysis make it easy for teachers to use. Abundant and diverse, personalized courseware and a range of randomly generated questions provide high quality learning resources for every student. Healthy and comfortable, 4K soft light screen and optical anti-blue light protection certified by TUV Rhineland protects children's eyes, while the 35 millisecond ultra-low writing latency allows teachers to write with ease. Anytime and anywhere. Open architecture and multiple endpoints and software access supported by the international standardized protocol enable every classroom to join the course and enjoy 1080p 30 frames per second projection. Simple and efficient, abundant and diverse, healthy and comfortable, anytime and anywhere. This is the Huawei Hybrid Learning Classroom Solution. So, I would like to conclude the presentation with a couple case sharing. Suzhou University adapts the Huawei Ideal Hub to run the 360-degree classroom. This, as the name suggested, offers the 360-degree experience for remote interactive teachings, regular recording, the group discussing, and the live teaching in six major categories of the subjects they are offering. Another example is powered by the Huawei Ideal Hub. The Kazminsky University in Poland adapts the smart classroom solutions to innovate the local teachings and implement remote teaching. Huawei Ideal Hub integrates various powerful functions such as intelligent handwriting recognition, HD video conference, and wireless sharing, helping the university become the leader of the innovative teachings in the region. Thank you very much for listening. Next, let's move on to the Huawei Smart Classroom Solution live demo. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Huawei Hybrid Learning Classroom. This is Lisa. In this class, we are going to have both online and offline students. And here is the interface of the online learning software. In the beginning, let me share the screen to the online students. As you see, here is the menu. I can move it by using gestures. By clicking here, I can share the screen. Today, we are going to look at the Asian tradition of paper making. Of course, paper is now made in factories, but centuries ago, it was handmade by craftspeople. Most of us probably don't know what this process looked like, but the practice still lives on today. So let's look at how it was made. I just need to drag the text to the search bar and click search to have a lot of results. And now I'm going to drag one of them to the canvas. As you can see, there are many stages in the process. Let me annotate on the picture to make it much clearer. If I want to play back my annotations, I can simply click this button. And now we can see the steps in the process. Let's see if everyone's up to speed. I've prepared a question for you, and I'll invite some participants to answer the questions.
as you can see, three people can write simultaneously on the screen. Now let's switch to the online classroom. One interactive tool that's great for engagement is the quiz. First, let me set up the responder. So the responder is here. So the first question, what's the first material used to create paper? Hemp, papyrus, or wood? Let's start. So Anna, would you like to tell us your choice? A. Hemp fiber. Congratulations! So the very first paper is made of hemp fiber. Before the next question, let's go to watch a video first. Yes? So, which step is it in the process of paper making? Let's start. So, Mikita, would you like to tell us your answer? My answer is D. Mixed out. Congratulations! It is right. This is the process of mixing the fibers in the frame and then it will be taken to dry to become the final paper. The quiz tool also allows students to answer questions by drawing or writing. We'll use this function to answer the last question. Have you ever tried making paper by hand before? I will set a timer for 10 seconds and open the blackboard for you to write the answer. So the timer and the blackboard where you can draw. So let's get started. Time's up! Oh, Lauren had made paper before, so let's ask her to share her story with us. Sure. Um, I really quite enjoyed it. I did it in South Korea when I was traveling. And at the end, you get a really nice rustic piece of paper, which was a great souvenir to take home with me. Well, thank you. And that's all for today's class. I hope you enjoyed it. This concludes our demo of the Huawei hybrid learning solution that brings a more engaging and interactive learning experience to classrooms everywhere. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Simon Dai, who is Solution Director of Intelligent Vision and Collaboration in the CTO Office of the Enterprise Business Group in Huawei. Our next speaker will talk about Intelligent Cloud Network to power a digital and intelligent education campus. Please welcome Mr. Edwin Diender, who is Chief Digital Transformation Officer in the Global Government Business Unit of Huawei Enterprise. Mr. Edwin Diender. Thank you for joining me in this session on Intelligent Cloud Network to power a digital an intelligent education campus. My name is Edwin Diender. I am Chief Digital Transformation Officer in our Global Government Business Unit in the Huawei 
Enterprise Business Group. And it is truly my honor to talk you through our intelligent cloud network solution. Innovation, innovative ICT is driving the future of education. From innovative ICT, we are able to move into a smarter environment where the campus sits and that entails and supports smart education. Innovation in ICT entail cloud computing, for example, big data analytics, social networking, yes, the Internet of Things, of course, software-defined networking and mobility, smart environment, the perimeter, smart e-cloud, smart campus, smart classrooms, using smart devices. That moves into smart education, as we said, to be very favorable towards learning, to be efficient when it comes to teaching, but most importantly, to nurture and to provide and to develop the creativity and the intelligence of our talents, our students, as they attend class. The Smart Cloud Network for Higher Education is presented here, and it entails four cornerstones, if you like, within this foundation. Smart teaching and research sharing and services platform and manageability. Online teaching, for example, immersive teaching and ubiquitous learning, core capabilities of, a, of an on-campus and off-campus blend, high-performance computing, artificial intelligence and big data analytics to infuse further in research and information sharing, towards a holistic view on campus management, not just from device to device, very linear, but in a holistic way, almost from the inside out as well as the outside in. And towards a new service delivery capability. For example, solutions that you can label My College, a mobile or a digital platform that has applications to support the digital version of your college, of your campus or your dormitory, whatever fits. For example, in Australia, where we've worked with one of the renowned universities, where we've been able to support the redefining of teaching. For example, digitalizing curriculum. This particular university has campuses that are many, many, really hundreds of kilometers apart. That means that professors and teachers have to travel for their lessons from each building to each classroom, in other districts even. By digitizing and digitalizing the curriculum and bring this into an online platform, teachers can log on to this platform, retrieve the curriculum in class as they are, where they are, but this curriculum can also be distributed throughout the university campuses that are dispersed and that are dislocated from each other with hundreds of miles apart. And it supports ubiquitous learning because all this curriculum is not only available as readable tutorials but also as information that sits with uh, intelligent and intuitive online and mobile applications, for example. It almost becomes a mobile version, a digital version of the physical university and that supports interactive and intuitive teaching and learning. The bottom layer of this is, of course, robustness in the connectivity. But only that, and only then, it supports to sit anywhere, use any device of any choice across time zones and across locations. Robust connectivity supports the redefining of teaching in Australia in this example. What it also does in this example for ETH in Zurich, it provides a mobile and online digital platform, cloud-enabled, to distribute different academic research papers. It is easier to share across this. And logistic services in the left top quadrant, as you can see here, refers to the delivery, the distribution of this online, this mobile and this digital curriculum. It also provides more services in the domain of office automation, um, application integration, the future of work and the new workplace or the high performance workplace, if you like, supported by a strong and robust network service that can carry it all. It features resources, integration, service enablement and a strong manageability of all data that goes along. I'm taking you a little bit around the world here. We're going from Australia to Zurich in the heart of Europe to South Africa, where AI assists the transformation of network management. It becomes an intelligent network management availability. In this particular example, also here, physical campuses and buildings dispersed miles or kilometers, if you like, apart, where the IT management team and systems administrator in the past had to physically travel and commute 
from each building, each classroom, each IT room in location number one to location number two, location number three, four, problem, problem solving, troubleshooting, network management and upgrades, configurations and what have you. With an intelligent network management that is AI enabled, the management ability becomes centralized. The troubleshooting becomes assisted via AI. It means we can learn from configurations in the past that help optimize network services. So we don't need to think in our brain, how do we solve this problem before? It becomes a repository of solutions. It becomes a library of network management opportunities, AI enabled and AI assisted. Three characteristics I'd like to highlight when it comes to the campus network. The first one is sit where you like, use the device of your choice. That means mobility. It's supported by wireless infrastructure, so all wireless. And of course, it also means fully connected, not only for everyone, but also for everything and for anything. And automation, automation AI assisted automated network management. An all wireless campus supports access anytime anywhere, mobile access um, to uniform experience, uh, uh, the experience across devices, regardless of location, for example. Fully integrated IT services supports infrastructure or IT as a service, but also IT as a solution or platform as a solution, not as a service. The IT management team not be, maintains itself as a cost center, but really can become a profit center that is allowing businesses to enable and it allows universities to expand uh, across teams and devices as well. So they become part of the operational business transformation and are not considered as a cost factor anymore. Software defined networking in this particular case supports the automation of AI assisted management and creates a fully automated management platform. The intelligent cloud network truly powers the digital and intelligent education campers. There is an overlay management application that brings this all together, that visualizes that, almost like the brain and the nervous system for network and campus management in this particular case. It's called iMaster NCE. It supports in the cycle or in the methodology, if you like, from planning, from setting up, from maintenance to optimization throughout the different layers that networks and infrastructures entail. Devices at the edge, for example, access devices, all the way to the heart of the network or the network infrastructures. It's the virtualization layer, the management platform on top, but the different applications that can enable from a cloud point of view, because that's what we talk about here, the cloud enablement of delivery of smart or e-classrooms, the digitization of books and learning curriculum, and to transform this into a digital version of a physical library, so digital libraries. Digital versions of courses and courseware. Curriculum becomes teaching and learning anytime, anywhere via online courses and mobile online massive courses. An all wireless campus supports seamless access. Integrate network fuels business systems convergence and full automation supports the efficiency and the deployment and the maintenance of it to power a digital and intelligent education campus. Mobility. In this case, all wireless, offloading traffic from the mobile network, creating a wireless environment that allows people to sit where they like, use the device of their choice as they learn and as they progress and move or roam around the campus. Indoor high density access is what an all wireless campus for full education scenario can cover in smart classrooms, large auditoriums, for example, but also on the perimeter side, the outdoor tracks, for example, or indoor when we talk about stadiums. Smart management very much supports the digital version and the digitalization of libraries and labs, for example. Fusing them. You can go physically to a library and physically to a laboratory, but you can add additional tutors, students, but also support and services from the digital versions of these laboratories and libraries. And then last but not least, of course, the vendors that also are there on campus. A cloud or an all wireless enabled cloud campus, smart cloud campus, supports the on-campus vendors like coffee corners, uh, bookstores, convenience stores and what have you, uh, to also support them in their digital journey. The digital inclusion is not only to integrate and include each and every one, but it also means that the different organizations that already are on campus, even though they are not part of the educational environment, can be integrated and can be embraced 
and supported in their digital journey as well. Mobility is in this case provided by wireless access, 5G enabled Wi-Fi access. In the existing environments, for example, as we could see at the Mondragon University in Spain, their existing wireless infrastructure did not really support mobility. Mobility meaning roaming and handover across and throughout campus, device agnostic, location agnostic, sit where you like, use the device of your choice and so on. Many blind spots, a lot of interference and many offline online drops that means disconnect. What we'd like to have is of course no blind spots, we'd like to have a full coverage and we'd like to have a seamless switching, a roaming and a handover as we roam across this wireless network and this wireless campus if you like. So the Huawei Wi-Fi 6 technology supports exclusive 3D planning, exclusive four oscillator smart antenna services for IoT and location-based services and integrates exclusive roaming algorithms for a more seamless and always on available network in an all wireless environment. This is supported by a strong baseline, a strong foundation, one network for example that integrates multi-service businesses from different systems, not breaking down the different silos, but overlaying these different silos, let them work together without the need for replacement or forklift upgrades. Looking at these networks as pillars of a new foundation, not a silo by itself, inward looking, but horizontal thinking of it. To be is to integrate and digitalize different business services by letting these silos work together as one. So with XJTU in China, we've able to support this. We've able to create an overlay service that makes all these different silos work as one and creates one network and that integrates these different systems. And that brings us to the automation of network management operations and maintenance. Software-defined networking, SDN in this case, improves the efficiency of the rollout of different services once this network foundation has been layered and has been built up. A strong foundation allows and supported with full network automation brings different application deliveries to students, to teachers, to backend information systems easier and more intuitive. It's easier to integrate when we support model-driven software-defined networking, for example. The software-defined networking configuration helps with simulations so we can test whether a certain application or integration really works and lives up to the expectation. And if not, it's easier to roll back when it's cloud enabled. And the key, one key deployment means a single click and then there is a wizard that goes through the network and throughout the network and activates our new services as we go along. Full network automation supports faulty prediction. AI engines and AI assisted tooling helps with understanding where the, uh, um, where the heavy load in the network sits and where the breaches of the network are and where the, uh, where the weak spots in the network are in order to inform the IT management team and for the IT management team to become more proactive instead of reactive. And that can only be done with a smart way of optimizing and integrating all these services. But what it does, it reduces the rate of complaints. It means that the user experience goes up, the value of such a network becomes stronger and the risk gets lower. The lower the risk, the higher the value is an economic principle, but it's also a network principle. If there's low risk in the network, if there's high value of the network, the service experience and the user ability also becomes very high up. And that brings me to the last section of my, um, of my presentation. Um, our smart campuses, our cloud-enabled smart campuses solutions are available and rolled out throughout the world in more than 70 countries and territories, in more than 2,600 universities and institutions, and more than 32 of the QS100, which is a university grading and rating system. So in the 32, more than 32 universities that are rated in the QS100 system already are supported and are helped and are um, infused with a smart campus solution from Huawei. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Edwin Deander, who is Chief Digital Transformation Officer in the Global Government Business Unit of Huawei Enterprise. Our next speaker will share a case, a particular case, Smart Science and Education Campus in Shenzhen University Town. Please welcome Mr. Sun Tao, who is Director of Shenzhen University City Network Information Center. Mr. Sun Tao. 
Since its founding in 2001, the university town of Shenzhen has been dedicated to delivering world-class education. By May 2021, more than 15,000 students and 3,500 faculty members called it home. The university town of Shenzhen consistently innovates and sets one new benchmark after another. In 2020, the university town of Shenzhen and Huawei successfully built China's first fully Wi-Fi 6 smart campus network. This future-proof network builds on the innovative ICT, facilitating the university town of Shenzhen's digital transformation. What you see now is our overall architecture of the university town of Shenzhen's network. In the middle is the core layer where we deployed Huawei's 100GE switch, S12700E, to build a rock-solid core. At the bottom is the edge router zone, through which we set up high-speed interconnections with research centers like Industry Innovation Center for future networks in Nanjing and National Supercomputing Shenzhen Center. At the top, is the Internet Egress Zone, where we achieve high-speed interconnections with China's three major carriers and China's Education and Research Network to facilitate education activities. On the left is our specific wireless deployment. In dormitories, we deployed Huawei 10G Central AP and RUs to ensure excellent Wi-Fi coverage. In the outdoor sporting field and stadium, we used Huawei Multi-GE switches and outdoor APs for full Wi-Fi coverage. In high-density classrooms, labs, research buildings and conference centers, we installed Huawei Multi-GE switches and Enterprise Class Wi-Fi 6 APs to ensure 100 megabit per second wireless access experience. Next, let's look at the main functional models of iMaster NCE Compulse Insight. What you see now is the home page, where network-wide health is visualized according to six categories of indicators. iMaster NCE Campus Insight uses telemetry as a basic protocol to collect device information in milliseconds. Based on such information, we can optimize and adjust the network in real time using AI and big data. This is achieved using the Intelligent Radio Collaboration Module, in which you can see the overall results. Through big data and AI, we successfully optimize the device utilization, channel bandwidth, and interference rates in the system. Traditional network management tools are reactive and cannot quickly locate and rectify faults, especially on the wireless network. We intend to use AI and big data technologies to transform network maintenance and operations from reactive to proactive. Problems can be predicted and even automatically solved. We believe that future networks will be autonomous and self-healing offering unprecedented network experience. Welcome to the Shenzhen University Town Conference Center, a professional conference and event service platform that provides four main types of services, conferences, performances, lectures and exhibitions. The auditorium is ideal for holding key events like opening ceremonies, high-end academic lectures and forums, most events have 1,000 students and teachers who may need to access the internet to query the speaker and conference background or share exciting moments on social media. This requires a stable wireless network featuring high-speed access and transmission. The auditorium is limited in space, seating slightly over 1,000 people. In many cases, its capacity is not enough, especially for some large-scale key events. To allow more people to join externally, we'll also broadcast high-demand academic events live online. While this allows more people to experience the event, it represents another challenge for wireless network bandwidth. At the auditorium, we deployed Huawei Air Engine Wi-Fi 6 AP760DN for full coverage at the main podium, front and rear seats, and backstage. It uses brand new encoding technology and eight spatial streams, significantly expanding transmission channels and offering four times higher throughput. Similar to 5G, it adopts OFDMA technology to improve spectrum utilization and deliver four times higher user concurrency. 
This guarantees wireless experience for each user, even when the auditorium is at full capacity. We also upgraded the wired network to 100 gigabit, enabling bandwidth hungry applications such as live broadcasts. Next, let's see a real world speed test. The university town of Shenzhen Library, also the Shenzhen Science and Technology Library, is China's first dual-purpose library that is both open for local residents and shared by famous universities like Peking University and Tsinghua University. This professional research-centric digital and fully open library sets a new benchmark by serving students and faculty members, company employees, researchers and residents. It attaches equal importance to physical and virtual resources, as well as paper and digital collections, and now has the most abundant electronic resources in Shenzhen. The library is home to a robot librarian, which combines robotics and RFID technology to automatically collect and pinpoint book information, ensuring no book remains misplaced. It draws on Wi-Fi 6 to ensure seamless communication and upload data in real time. The Waterfall Stream electronic book borrowing system redefines library services by using cutting-edge technologies such as human-computer interaction, augmented reality and virtual reality to create an immersive experience. This unique system stimulates readers' interest in reading while facilitating the library's service expansion. Readers can access digital books from mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets. At the library, the wireless network must enable multi-user concurrency and support traffic bursts. For this, we deployed 91 Huawei Wi-Fi 6 wireless APs throughout the library, greatly improving user experience. Retailers in the U-Space Cafe area of the library use electronic shelf labels to manage prices more quickly and conveniently, cutting time and labour costs. Discount products are displayed in different colours for a superior shopping experience. Welcome to the University Town of Shenzhen Sports Centre, located in the picturesque University Town. It occupies 45,000 square metres and consists of stadiums, gymnasiums, swimming pools, tennis, basketball and volleyball courts and more. I'm standing by the gymnasium with a capacity of 5,622 spectators. It successfully hosted the 30th anniversary of the Shenzhen Special Economic Zone in 2010 and is a main venue for the 26th summer Universe Aid in 2011. The gymnasium is ideal for holding large group events where thousands of spectators share memorable moments on social media. This puts huge strain on network bandwidth and latency. With Wi-Fi 5, spectators encountered issues such as access failure, application suspension, and slow image and video refreshing. Huawei Wi-Fi 6 overcomes this and redefines experience with four times higher performance, supporting over 100 users per AP and delivering over 100 megabits per second per user. Huawei's wireless 3D network planning tool helps us quickly model wireless networks and simulate signal coverage effects, ensuring optimal AP deployment. It also enables simulation of omnidirectional and directional antennas, minimizing inter-AP interference and ensuring blind spot free coverage. iMaster NCE Campus Insight helps our administrators quickly detect wireless network issues, get optimization suggestions based on big data analytics and expert experience, and optimize AP load balancing and transmit power, ensuring optimal user experience in dense environments. At the university town of Shenzhen, we adopted Huawei Cloud Campus 3.0 solution 
for our campus-wide all-in-one card system. It uses big data, AI and IoT to ensure optimal experience in canteens, dormitories, libraries and sporting venues. In particular, VXLAN technology enables automatic configuration of network policies, accelerating service rollouts. iMaster NCE Campus efficiently identifies terminal types to secure terminal access. In short, we achieve wired, wireless and IoT coverage and also a mix of physical cards, virtual cards and facial information offering teachers and students new campus life experience centered on one network, one code, one face and one card. Due to COVID-19 many classes have gone online and the countless video courses and online learning each day greatly strain campus wireless networks. Nowadays, we prefer to innovate through cross-disciplinary collaboration and collaborative interaction anytime, anywhere is more frequent than ever. As a Tsinghua student, I can effortlessly access campus wireless networks and numerous learning materials even from Peking University. The shared networks break physical boundaries, enhancing communication between students of partner universities. Looking ahead, the University Town of Shenzhen will continue to adopt more cutting-edge network technologies, advancing its first-class smart campus featuring diversified business, high-quality services, high autonomy and efficient resource sharing. Thank you, Mr. Sun Tao, Director of Shenzhen University City Network Information Center, for sharing the case that relates to smart science and education campus in Shenzhen University Town. Our next speaker is Mr. Zhou Tao, Director of Optical Business Product Marketing and Solution Sales Department in Huawei Enterprise. Mr. Zhou Tao. Welcome. My name is Zhou Tao. Today, I will talk about building a solid network foundation for the next generation intelligent campus with Huawei Optics Campus Solution. Nowadays, new technologies are making their way into glassy rooms helping both advance the education and the equal access. Like many, the industry is going through rapid digital transformation. Let me delve into the three main changes we are seeing. First, we are seeing the innovation in teaching method. Many countries are using more videos and multimedia in classrooms. AR and VR will be the universal by 2022. By 2026, we will see students using AI along with the virtual and the remote nerves. All this requires more network bandwidth in the gigabits range and ever lower latency below 10 milliseconds. Second, education is also becoming more open and shared. In the future, education resources will be easily shared by the cloud technology, making learning available anytime and anywhere. However, today's network still have many blind spots. We need networks with much scalable capacity. So the campus are becoming more integrated. Networks will need to support more services, not just the teaching and the learning, but also the daily life of students and the staff, social networking, admin and office. Each of those situations has different requirements to the networks and the applications, making centralized campus operation and maintenance quite complex. So what does it mean for the intelligent education network? We need to build campus network with ultra broadband, low latency for integrated coverage and refined operation and maintenance. Today, campus have siloed network that is separately carry services. This restricts the development of intelligent education due to the performance limitation, high costs, and the difficult operation and maintenance. Instead, campus need a single network to carry multiple services, such as digital libraries, safe campus, multimedia teaching and researching, etc. In response to these changes, Huawei launched its Campus Optics Solution, which aims to build a solid network foundation for the next generation intelligent campus. 
The solution uses IP plus POL, the passive optic LAN, flat network architecture to carry multiple services like teaching, office, IoT, etc. And use deep fiber to enable costly effective 10G access, efficient operation and maintenance, and scalable campus network infrastructure. Now, let me talk about the benefits of this solution in a bit more details. First, let us look at the advantage of using fiber opticals. It becomes more popular as the world moves towards carbon neutrality. Statistics show that the carbon footprint left by the optical fiber is only one third of those for the traditional copper cables. In addition, fiber transmission rate can be 1,000 times higher than that of copper, reaching to terabits. At the same time, PLIL technology expands the transmission distance to up 40 km, 400 times that of copper. Plus, fiber can last over 30 years, four times longer than copper. All this to say that the PLIL technology has obvious advantages in, the, in terms of bandwidth, deployment scope, and long-term life cycle. The Huawei Campus Optical Solution uses deep fiber strategy to save energy and make the campus network eco-friendly. In traditional network, optical fiber connects only to the equipment rooms, while Huawei's solution extends the optical fiber to rooms, desktops, and even to the devices. To achieve this vision, Huawei developed powerful ONU, the optical network unit, as shown in the figure on the right. This device implements all scenarios adaptation of campus optic access. For example, high-performance ONT, the optical network terminal with Wi-Fi 6 in dormitories, panel and the desktop ONU to the desktop, and the SLP ONU to be installed into terminals directly for the full fiber connection. Now, let's look at how this solution simplifies networks. It requires only two layers instead of three or more. This is done by the IP plus POL architecture using the passive optical splitters to replace the active device at the network aggregation layer. At the same time, just one optical network can cover all campus requirements instead of chaining networks while saving 80% equipment room and cabling space, 30% energy, and improving the development efficiency by 50%. Plus, the passive optical network is more stable and reliable than the active devices. Let me show you a practical example in the right figure. For 200 campus dormitories, the campus optic solution saves 61% operation and maintenance nodes than that of the transition network. It's more eco-friendly and eliminate fire risks. Huawei's campus optic solution is also very easy to deploy and manage. It features centralized management and control, plus and play and enable ONU to go online with zero configuration. Services can be provided in just one minute. Operator can also create virtual network slides on the RT platform based on the boards and the ports. This means that depending on the specific service, like teaching, office, or security, you can isolate resources, plan each virtual network independently, and they implement management and maintenance based on the right and the demands. Essentially, one network will serve multiple purposes, deliver efficiency, operation and maintenance, and save your investment costs. This video sums up the benefits of this solution. Huawei's Campbell's Optics solution uses the passive optic splitter to replace the active aggregation switch. It does not take any equipment room space, does not consume any power, 
and require low configuration, reserving resources for other IT equipment. With fiber connection in classroom, Huawei's ONU support plug and play, along with single click service provisioning, quick enabling IP camera, broadcast, teaching cloud terminal, electronic whiteboard, and Wi Fi access points. In dooms, a single fiber and ONT can provide each room with Wi Fi, internet, phone, and video service, reducing TCO by 30%. In office, a standard ONU enabled IP camera and Wi-Fi access points, while the panel-mounted ONU deliver fiber to the desk, enabling gigabit access for the office and the voice service. In libraries and gyms, 40 GE PLL ONU bear Wi-Fi 6 access points, enabling access and learning anytime and anywhere. In canteens, ONU's enable broadcast, AP, camera, and card re reader, and the TV service. In the final, Huawei's campus optics solution develop a single optical network that covers all series and scenarios. In addition to the benefits I have already mentioned, Huawei's campus optics solution uses a range of industry-leading technologies. Let me introduce three innovative technologies. First, the photoelectric composite technology provides power over fiber. It enables Wi-Fi access points and the cameras in a large area, like the playgrounds or gyms, to cover distance up to 800 meters. Compared with standard PoE power supply, this tech saves half of the cabinet and 80% of the maintenance loads. Plus, it's highly integrated with a fiber diameter 40% smaller than the industry average. Second, we also apply the Quick ODM, the optical distribution network technology, which use prefabricated optical components that are plug and play and do not require the fiber splicing. Instead of leading seven steps to slide fiber, implementation is just a single step routine operation, making development 80% more efficient. Another technology is Huawei ULIC 40G POL, which provides ultra large access bandwidth and is designed for high density Wi Fi 6 barriers. It delivers the ultimate network appearance in place like the neighboris or genes. Despite the existing advancements, Huawei will continue to innovate to improve network performance, environmental efficiency, and the user experience of education campus networks. Let me finish by saying that all this is part of a large picture. The ecosystem of the passive optical land industry is developing very quickly, thanks to support from the global users, industry organizations, vendors, and integrators. In 2020, IDC released the Poland Technical White Paper, noting that Poland can effectively facilitate the digital transformation of education papers. As a platinum member of the Global Industry Alliance, OPLAN, Huawei works with more than 40 aligned members to promote global POL education and application. In addition, Huawei cooperates with 80 partners to promote the growth of the POL industry. To date, we have widely deployed the POL solution around the world, and over 150 education customers have selected Huawei Campus Optic Solution. For example, Nanjing Agricultural University adopted Huawei solution in the smooth experience of 12,000 terminals during online classes. Huawei helped Fudan University in Shanghai improve network deployment and operation and maintenance efficiency by 50%. The University of Canada in Egypt was also enabled to cut energy consumption 
by 30% across the entire network by using Huawei solution. As you see, these are real-world results of the cutting-edge technology and solution. Next, I would like to invite Mr. Zhang Ting from the Information Development Center of the Nanjing Agricultural University to show more details on the real-life application of all optic campus network for the intelligent education. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zhou Tao, who is the Director of Optical Business Product Marketing and Solution Sales Department in Huawei Enterprise, for your insights on building a solid network foundation for the next generation of intelligent campus. Our next speaker will talk about how the Huawei Campus OptiX solutions help education informatization in the Nanjing Agricultural University. Please welcome the Director of the Nanjing Agricultural University Information Development Center, Mr. Jia Huiting. Hello, everyone. Today, I'd like to share with you how Huawei Campus Optics is helping Nanjing Agricultural University achieve success in informatization. I'm going to touch on four main subjects today. To begin, let me give you a little background information about the project. Nanjing Agricultural University, NAU for short, is a key university of Project 211, a highly successful national-level effort initiated in the 1990s to raise high-level research standards in China's universities. It is also an innovative platform in Project 985 which similarly promotes the development of world-class universities in China. In addition, NAU is also recognized as one of China's double first-class universities. In total, the university has four campuses, covering a total area of 9.47 square kilometers. The headquarters campus is located in Nanjing's Weigong District, with other campuses in Pukou and Baima districts. A new campus is currently under construction in Jian Bay. This new campus represents a milestone in NAU's history, demonstrating successful collaboration between the university and the city that hosts it, in turn aligning the university's own development with the wider city's economic growth. In 2020, NAU sits at number seven in the list of best universities for agricultural sciences compiled by U.S. News. In China's fourth round of discipline assessment, NAU achieved grade A plus in four disciplines, ranking number 11 in the country. In the ESI discipline rankings, NAS has nine of the top 1% disciplines and two of the top 0.1% disciplines. Despite the achievements made, NAU was also facing a challenge, its network. This legacy network, which was first deployed in 2013, had become outdated and was no longer able to meet our service requirements. So we chose Huawei to upgrade the network for our undergraduate student dormitories. Once that decision had been made, how did things proceed? NAU had three requirements for the project. First, the university had to take the lead selecting a technical solution. The project also needed to be based on the latest technology. That's why Huawei's Campus Optics XGS PON solution was chosen. Finally, Wi-Fi 6 was required to provide 100% wireless coverage. During a project survey, we carefully analyzed network requirements for the new campus and decided to upgrade the student dormitory network first by way of verification. This helped us to prepare, giving us new technical capabilities and project experience, skills that are proving essential to the construction of our new campus. The new network uses two-layer architecture, which is simpler than a traditional network. A unified power supply greatly simplifies follow-up system management. In terms of advanced technologies, the project deployed the Campus Optics solution to carry Wi-Fi 6, which drastically improves user experience in terms of both access and services. With optical fibers connected to dormitories, Students now enjoy ultra-high bandwidth and stable low latency during online classes, boosting the efficiency and effectiveness of both teaching and learning. NAU and Huawei reached an agreement in June 2020, finalized the network upgrade solution in the same month, and officially started the project in July. 
following an accelerated timetable for rollout. On-site implementation began after 2020's summer vacation. Comprehensive end-to-end -end engineering covered everything, from the removal of the legacy network to the launch of the new live network. During the process, we successfully deployed 9,360 new information points and 2,340 Wi-Fi 6 AP in a single month, preparing the network for the distance education services that the future will surely bring. The project used only Huawei products, including OLTs, ACs, optical fiber, and the power supply. Supported by state-of-the-art equipment, the new network features high stability and reliability. The aggregation layer uses XGS PON technology, raising the uplink and downlink rates of the optical network to 10 gigabit per second. Wi-Fi 6A piece with built-in smart antennas allow signals to move with users, greatly improving user experience. What has been the overall effect of the project? Was it a success? Once the network was completed, students were able to attend classes remotely from their dormitories, assisting efforts to control the pandemic. According to our tests, the wired network now achieves a bandwidth of 1 gigabits per second, while a wireless network reaches 500 megabits per second. The maximum number of concurrent users exceeds 8,600. Overall, the new network supports stable online classes and no network issues have been found. The network's simplified architecture means that services directly connect to the data center, improving system scalability. With copper cables replaced by optical fibers, the upgraded network is no longer limited by distance. A passive design allows the network to reduce its layers. For example, an additional power supply is not necessary. This makes network management far easier. With the number of cables also greatly reduced, student dormitories become safer, quieter, and tidier. The new network enhances the experience for students on every level, improving their living environment. As you can see from the pictures, the power room and corridor look much better now. O and M also becomes easier and more efficient. With the unified O and M platform, maintenance personnel can visually check on the network status, efficiently install new equipment, and easily repair devices that are faulty. The network supports automatic topology recovery, simplifying O and M operations to no more than three steps. And since all devices are plug-and-play, there is no need for dedicated on-site specialists, removing another overhead. General IT staff can complete service configuration and planning within a single day, with daily inspections taking no longer than just 15 minutes. In addition, approximately 40% of common network faults can be located remotely, and more than 40% of configuration issues can also be resolved remotely. To cut a long story short, many more O and M improvements have also been made, simplifying overall management and greatly improving NAU's network efficiency. Last but not least, what was our experience of the project? Let me share with you our reflections. Network development projects require advanced technical solutions. In our case, we used Huawei's Campus Optics solution to carry Wi-Fi 6. It has already been verified as an advanced solution, of course. In terms of network implementation, expert support is critical. This is especially important when the project involves optical fibers, which are drastically different from traditional copper cables. A reliable management platform is also necessary for the management of network O and M. Such a platform lays a solid foundation for digital transformation in any education institution. I hope our example can serve as a reference point for our peers and their future network upgrades. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jia Guiting, Director of Nanjing Agricultural University Information Development Center. Our next speaker is Mrs. Ding Fan, Senior Product Manager of the Data Center Marketing and Solutions Sales Department in Huawei Enterprise. She will talk about how Huawei All Flash Storage is able to extend AFA benefits to smart education. Mrs. Ding Fan. 
Hello everyone, my name is Lin Fan. Welcome to Huawei Global Intelligent Education Summit. Today, I will introduce how to use Huawei All Flash Storage to accelerate the digital transformation of smart education, which is benefit for colleges and universities. In recent years, digital transformation of the education industry is very fast. For example, the unified online processing platform covering registration, course selection, teacher evolution, grade recording, access control, and even payment, and so on. It provides service for all the teachers and students with more users, more centralized businesses, and higher reliability requirements than ever before, need more stable. Online learning, which was mentioned several years ago, but it has been popular among the public since last year. Here, I want to share a story about my son. He has an offline course to attend in a training center every Saturday. In April this year, the Chinese Ministry of Education issued a policy to ban homework, which reduced the burden on students. This training center follows the policy. Excellent news for my son. But the training center has an online course to review the contents every Monday evening. On the first Monday, he didn't attend the class successfully, and the screen always showed the following sentence. The content of the course will be presented immediately. Please be patient. But he waited and waited. There was nothing new. I checked with the teacher and got to the reason. That it is the first time they use online course resource. But they had met some ICT technical problems because the training center is very famous and lots of students in Shenzhen access the system at the same time with a lot of concurrent pressure. Online learning brought the confidence of education, but it also has higher requirements on ICT resources compared with the past. It leads stronger and faster data transmission, forwarding, and processing capabilities. A campus is similar like a highly informatization community. For the operation of this community, there are not only complex core business systems, but also CCTV, desktop, electricity, water management, fire safety, asset management, and so on. For the campus, it is also a challenge whether these data assets can be operated more economically. Looking at the overall trend of the education industry, the demand for ICT requirement is a higher stability, much faster and more economical. What are the main points and the requirements for storage inside ICT? Here, I want to give three examples. The first example is a college. There is no disaster recovery system in their data center. Once a time, one controller and two hard disks failed at the same time. The probability is very low, but they met. A controller was broken, and the response time for students to access the system is longer than ever before. Two hard disks failed at the same time, directly causing 30% Date loss. The college filled the data based on paper files. Although the amount of data was not large, but when using the human resource to do it, one item by one item, it took more than one month to recover the lost data. The second example is a large university with only 600 terabyte capacity. The equipment used up to more than 10 cabinets, and the LU electricity bill is over $100,000. There is a reason for that. Early storage used HDD module with lower capacity per disk and high equipment space. 
resulting in large TCO compared with current metro technology. The third example is an education servicing department. There are over 200 storage optical fibers on the existing network. Once a time, one storage optical fiber is 40. Operation and maintenance team spend more than 10 days to find out that fiber. These are what really happened. We can see that the following problems in the existing data center of some universities. First, the lack of high reliability and high performance guarantee. Second, the high TCO of storage brought by the current equipment and the module of the existing data center. And third, the measurement. So, what kind of storage does Huawei use to solve these three pain points? Our solution is Huawei Ocean Store Dorado 5000v6 or 6000v6, Huawei's mid-range all-flash storage, which is the most frequently used product in universities. With high-end storage quality, it provides system level and data level high reliability, and the student's data is very free. So, there is no need to manually record data again. It also provides a full set of software features, all in one. Not only that, now one set of storage covering both the same storage of students' database, such as core educational business and the last storage of file business, such as examination paper, scan documents which can also maintain good performance and bring top cost effectively for the universities. With our efficient management platform, status and alarms of equipment can be monitored and sensed 7 plus 24 hours, including optical fiber monitoring. This time, at least, no longer need to manually find the 40 links. Not only that, some companies provide educational ICT resources to different universities. We can also define SLA and provision different type of storage resources accordingly. Next, I will explain in detail how to use these three aspects of Huawei all-flash storage capabilities to benefit the University. Although I introduced the mid range wall flash storage today, but it is with high end storage quantities. First of all, it must need to introduce the architectural reliability. When we talk about system reliability, we made a demonstration of dual controller storage compression. You can see the slide. Huawei dual controller mid-range flash storage is symmetric active-to-active -active architecture. It is fully interconnected, which can achieve a comprehensive balance of load, date, and hot spots, and it greatly enhances the reliability of the core education business. Only a few vendors in the industry have this capability in the mid-range or flash storage. Secondly, from the perspective of data reliability, Huawei's mid-range all-flash storage can support read TP. It means even when three disks fail at the same time, it will not lose any data. But major vendors only support two disk vendors at the same time. In addition, besides these two capabilities, we also support the gateway free active to active solution to ensure the reliability of education service from the data, equipment, and solution level, make data storage more stable. Can such a stable product support the educational core business? Because Huawei's mid range or flash storage uses intelligent algorithms and the industry's latest end to end NVMe solution. 
it can hit up to 480,000 IOPS with dual controller configuration, which is not higher than the industry level. It can achieve millisecond level latency response and effectively accelerate business operations. Not only that, the mid-range all flash storage can scale up and scale out, which can flexibly match large capacity and high performance expansion. The performance 480,000 IOPS I mentioned right now is tested in a dual controller scenarios. We can support controller expansion to increase performance at the same time. This is especially suitable for exam registration and similar scenarios which the concurrent users are very high. Students no longer have to worry about registration online in peak time, easy to expansion. At the same time, Huawei all-flash mid-range storage when using two controllers can su support up to 300 NVMe SSDs and a single set of high-end equipment of major vendors supports a maximum of 288 NVMe SSDs. The university is different from other sub-industries. New students enroll every year, which brings new data growth, so smooth expansion of capacity can solve this problem. After talking about high-end quality, how does Huawei all-flash storage reduce TCO? First of all, one set of products includes license for all features, such as active-to-active, -active, remote replication, and so on. For example, you can use snapshot function to store copies of the data. These copies, when needed, can be used if there is an impact of ransomware. That is an example about only one feature inside of our software package. Secondly, the data generated by the digital platform is diverse. There are database-related data such as students' performance, which usually lead it to be stored on sand storage, and paper documents, videos, pictures, usually need to be stored on NAS storage. Huawei all-flash storage can provide both sand storage and last storage capabilities, and one set can store different type of university data. We have also done a TCO analysis. Compared with traditional storage, all-flash storage can effectively improve performance and reduce TCO. I have mentioned that a customer has a 600 terabyte storage on the existing network, which used up to over 10 cables. Of course, that is because the equipment was purchased several years ago. Let's take a look at the current technology. Using all flash mid-range products, the entire storage device only needs 6U head space in a cabinet with a medium size SSD. This is the difference. So, it is valuable to migrate current storage to all flash storage, especially if the current storage was purchased several years ago. About the operation and maintenance area, we have a device manager for a single device, a unified resource management DME for multiple sets of storage, and the remote management platform e-service to simplify the university storage management. At the end, I want to share a typical case about the use of Huawei flash storage solution for the universities. SCSTI is the Slovak Center of Scientific and Technical Information. It is a subsidiary organization of the Ministry of Education, Science, Research and Sport of the Slovak Republic, which provides ICT resources to local over 40 universities throughout the country. 
the customer found that the system cost was increased year by year. As a result, they want a new solution that will not only support business growth over the next decade, but also be less expensive and easier to manage. The customer uses three sets of Huawei storage to form a disaster recovery solution, ensuring regional disaster recovery. Based on Huawei storage, it supports the operation of more than 100 information systems, including school financial system and the examination system that serves more than 40 universities every year. The solution ensures 7 plus 24 hours service availability, which significantly increases the reliability of educational data access. In addition, Huawei Storage supports disaster recovery solution between entry level, mid-range, and high-end storage system, simplifying the network and reducing TCO. Tier to Lao, the solution has been running for about two years, and the customer is satisfied with the performance, richness of functions, and the reliability of the solution. My topic is over here. Thank you very much for your watching today. Thank you, Mrs. Ding Fan, Senior Product Manager of the Data Center Marketing and Solution Sales Department of Huawei Enterprise. And last but not least, please welcome Mr. Chen Jin Hua, who is Chief Solution Marketing Manager of the Mass Storage Domain in Huawei, who will help us understand how to shorten the research cycle with next-gen storage systems designed for data intensive. Mr. Chen Jin Hua. Hi, everyone. My name is Jackie Chen. Solutions Marketing Manager in Max Data Storage. I have been working in Huawei for over 10 years, from IND engineer to sales manager, most focusing on HPC storage solution. Today, I'm glad to share our thoughts on next generation storage decided for data, data intensive HPC and how it could overcome the new challenges and shorten your research cycle. It is no secret that HPC is playing a critical role in our society. It has become an important driving force for social progress. For example, we can use HPC to accelerate drug screening, greatly shorten the R&D periods of new medicine. Another example is from genome sequencing. It took 13 years to fulfill complete the whole genome sequencing at the beginning. But with the help of HPC, we have shortened the time to just one day. In recent years, HPC has become even more closely integrated with big data and AI technology. Data is becoming more and more important. As we can see, the trend of HPC evolving from computing intensive to data intensive. Let's take a look at the HPC market growth rate on the right. It shows that data intensive HPC market, including HPDA and AI based HPC, are growing much faster than traditional HPC market. And we found the world loads of data intensive HPC has similar storage requirement. As we can see, Industry get a lot of benefit from using HPDA and AI technology. However, this doesn't come without new challenges. There may be a lot of challenges to storage system. The top three challenges we think are as following. First, the new technology and application dramatically increase data volumes. Like a texting cars generate 60 terabyte data per day for L4 autonomous driving. In oil exploration applications, upgrade from 2D to 3D, data generates 10 times than before. Most of the data are so important that they have to be stored over decades. Ever-growing data volumes will bring bigger challenges to HPC infrastructure with uncertain situation on planning and expansion. 
such as no enough footprints in DC, more complex data lifecycle management, unpredictable scaling on capacity and performance for budget applying. The second challenge comes from supporting hybrid workload. For traditional applications, they often involve multiple processing phases. These phases usually have different I.O. behaviors. I will take oil and gas its explorations as an example. Sensimit data processing requires high bandwidth, while sensimit data interpretation needs high IOPS. Normally, two different storage systems are required to host these two types of workloads. Think about the supercomputing center. If different talents have different workloads, how many systems are they are going to set up? On the other hand, for emergent applications, they cause tremendous growth in diversified computing powers, such as GPU, MPU, and FPGA. This further increases the challenge of diversified workload support in the same storage system. Third, the diversity of data access protocols makes multiple data copying, which hinders the efficiency of HPC. Let's take research on autonomous driving as an example. The development process involves multiple phases, such as data injection, data processing, mod uh, model chaining, and simulation. There are diversified data access protocol interfaces being used in those phases. For example, low texting data injecting from S3 protocol, handling by bit data with HDFS, and result data for simulation or training by NFS. Meaning, you have to copy huge volume of data to multiple storage systems and waste a lot of time on waiting. But time is very important to the end-to-end -end development process. We heard a lot of complaints from our customer for this situation in different cases. So what's the storage solution for overcoming these challenges in the train of data-intensive HPC? The answer is our flagship distributed storage. Three features play a key role to shorten your research cycle. First, Multiple protocol interworking tremendously reduce the copying across different analytical procedures, much improving efficiency. Next, hybrid workload-oriented design allow different workload applications running in the same system, reducing complexity of management. And high-density design Release in your release space in your data center. You know that in HPC, density is very important. Let's go through the key features with more detail. The architecture of Ocean Store Pacific is aiming at data lake infrastructure for unstructured data. In design level, we create a new metadata system supporting both file and object so that one copy of data could be read or written through different access protocols, such as NFS, SMB, HDFS, and S3. Besides reducing copying, higher analytical efficiency also comes from native protocol features support. When we talk about multiple protocol interworking, we really mean there's no loss in both semantics and performance. You can see in the right table, comparing to other vendors, our solution has no gateway and could support native advanced features of different protocols, like object versioning and QoS at the same time. Next, as we know that management complexity comes from storage proliferation. High bandwidth and high IOPS in one system is always like a cake. You could not eat it and have it at the same time. 
Different workloads require multiple standalone storage systems. And proliferation starts. The Ocean Store Pacific Parallel File System is designed to optimize I.O. metadata placement, keeping it close to the data on the nodes that own it. I.O. processing and capacity management are likewise optimized using large I.O. pass, pass through to bypass cache when appropriate. And a granularity specified layout that increase bandwidth for large block I.O. stream while decreasing latency and I.O. amplification for small block I.O. In this way, the system supports both bandwidth intensive and IOP intensive workloads. Meanwhile, a lot of MPI I.O. applications require high single stream performance. As we know, the performance bottleneck is from NFS protocol. We put it as an option to install DPC for getting extreme high performance. DPC, or distrib Distributed Parallel Client, is a private agency installing in hosts. In our lab, we have testing single stream performance with DPC comparing to other vendors' solution. We found the performance with our DPC reach 8 gigabyte per second four times higher than that running with NFS. Last but not the least, reducing high density matters in HPC, which will release space in your data center for the huge data volume growth. Our high density hardware includes two models. First, high density performance node, Ocean Store Pacific 9950. A 5 unit thesis house 8 nodes with maximum 80 pieces of half pump NVMe SSD disks, providing 160 gigabyte per second on bandwidth and 200,000 IOPS. Second, high density capacity node, Ocean Store Pacific 9550. A 5 unit thesis house 120 pieces of 3.5 inches SATA disks, providing 1.68 petabyte raw capacity. On the right picture, as you could see, the high density performance node has best density performance comparing to the other vendors, about 30% higher than the second best one. And the density capacity of the capacity node is 2.7 times than the general purpose high density server solution. For continuously working in HPC, we will help different customers all over the world. Since time is limited, I will share a recent use case on HPDA. Sari Kass, the research institute in Shanghai, China, build a HPDA platform with our distributed storage. As you could see in the left picture, one storage cluster supports both computing intensive application and data intensive applications with multiple protocol interworking and hybrid workload support. The analytical efficiency improved by 200%. To sum up, we think the next generation storage system will shorten research cycle by saving time, reducing complexity of management, and release space in your data center. For example, in meteorology research, with the help of multiple protocol in the working feature, one copy of data is read or written by data processing data analysis and product release, which is saving time in whole life cycle without waiting of multiple copying. In supercomputing center, hybrid workloads are supported in same system. As well as MPI I.O. applications, one system can meet all the talent demand, reducing complexity for storage proliferation. In scientific research, 
High density with both performance and capacity is always key to release space in your data center or server room. Meaning, you get rid of consolidation from other resources to get more footprint. At the end, I'd like to recommend you to read the ESG technical review for Ocean Store Pacific. After ESG is really tested in the performance and features of Ocean Store Pacific, they recommended Ocean Store Pacific as the next generation storage system designed for HPDA. You could get the technical review paper by Google it with keyword ESG Ocean Store Pacific. That's all for my sharing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chen Jianhua, who is Chief Solutions Marketing Manager of the Mass Storage Domain in Huawei. And that brings us to the end of the last day of the Huawei Global Intelligent Education Summit 2021, where we were able to share with you insights and backgrounds on how to accelerate the digital journey of education and create new value together. Thank you very much. <laughs>